Welcome. Today we're going to talk about when you should use other vaults in your Obsidian workflow. Uh, because I got asked that. I've been asked that two or three times recently. And I thought that would be a good video. Before you do that, if you to support the channel, become a member at curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. All right, let's dive in. And the best way to do that is actually to show you my vaults. So first thing here is my main vault. Uh, my main vault here, uh, where it has my boards in it. I've given a tour of this recently a little bit. The book lists I have, my client notes, courses. These are the courses I've actually created, uh, right? Residual notes and craft that I need to actually go through and fix and do something with daily notes, all that stuff. So this is my personal vault for my writing, right? You can also see projects is set up here with my writing ideas, right? Code, membership stuff, everything like that. So that's my main vault. This is for my reading, my research, my YouTube stuff. Now, the other vault I have is this one. So this is for work. This is for work called Proud City, uh, where I build websites. I'm just showing you one item right here. Um, and this is covering, I've also showed you this as well in my developers uh, GitHub, uh, my developers uh, Obsidian Vault uh, video a while back. So I'll link to that above. So this shows me, uh, lots of different stuff, right? GitHub, GitHub issues, things that I need to, or have taken notes on that every issue gets in there. But a lot of them do if I really want to make sure that a future developer knows what's happening, right? Deploy notes, how to, so this is how to fix orphaned events uh, in things. And basically anytime I start to do something and I have to like look up a bunch of documentation for it and everything, I document it for us, um, right? Some of our PC dev commands, PC cube commands. So these are Kubernetes commands we built, WordPress plugins, WordPress themes like anything really that I need. And so actually I should take in here and put how to should go in there, how to create a new release, how to download customer databases, how to set up my local environment. That's good enough for now. So that's another vault. This vault, ultimately the data is entirely owned by my customer. It is separate from my regular vault. I suppose there, there could be a little bit of overlap when I'm researching say a WordPress command or something like that, where they would, be you know notes in my main vault where I'm taking I uh, say programming notes other things like that and notes in this one I think sort of overlap but not quite um, so this stuff gets all of my work for Proud City in it all of the again issue notes all the how to stuff all the research I have to do anything long term goes in here uh, at this point we're probably going to move to a documentation system for our um, at least our how to content so that we can have that long term for other people third vault. This is a gaming vault. I say it was because I haven't really touched it in quite a while. So this uh, game guides, right? I started Hollow Knight and linked to a bunch of stuff. This is really just one big long page of like YouTube videos and other stuff that I have, you know, taken as a guide to Hollow Knight. So when I'm playing it, I can look up stuff in one spot. Now I've actually started moving this off to a site called Dad's Gaming Again, which I have sort of done. <laughs> I haven't done a great job at keeping it updated really. I'm not writing in it. In theory, this is going to have like my um, again uh, boards or um, stuff to write in here as well, uh, right? 8-Bit Do Ultimate Controller, going to review it. In theory, JSOC Steam Deck Doc, build your own game library with Humble Choice, all these things. And I haven't really got to it. So I'm not sure that this vault, this vault has felt to me like I should have just put it in my main vault. Uh, especially if I'm going to say the game guides are going to go off on their own uh, on, a, on a website where people can actually, other people can see them. Um, so then I would just have my writing notes only. I'd really only worry about my writing and that would go in my main vault with my other stuff. And I would use projects, right? Am I going to get the right one? Let's go here. Projects to divide it up, right? I can actually say my code ones are divided up. My code writing, my member stuff is divided up as well. Uh, and I could do that instead of having an entirely different vault that I really don't touch. And I probably should. I should write some more gaming content because I do enjoy playing video games. And so that's what I do. Ultimately, I say that you probably only need one vault if you have a content that's entirely owned, entirely separate, entirely on its own, right? It's not a research project that's coming from some notes in your vault, but like my Proud City content, entirely owned by another project, entirely separate. You really don't have a lot of almost any overlap. Then by all means, have another vault. Keep it off a separate on its own. Otherwise, you're probably just best with one vault. One vault you actually use as opposed to multiple vaults that you say, oh, I'm keeping things separate and you never really use them. So that's what I would say. And that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know stuff happened. Uh, and it really helps actually, you know, subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, stuff like that. Let's 
uh, YouTube know that this is good content that other people should see or share the share the vault, share the link uh, on your own, show your own social media, stuff like that. Blog about it. In fact, blog about it. You should have your own blog instead of doing, doing social media. Have an awesome day.